Welcome, this is Rose Oswald Poles with the WBA bringing you another Diverse Voices in Banking series. And joining me today, it is truly my pleasure to welcome Adam Knoll, who is a Vice President at Partners Bank up in Stratford, Wisconsin. Thank you very much for joining me today, Adam. Hi, Rose. Hi, great to see you. Um, so Adam, you've been with the bank now eight years. So as a successful banker so far, what do you really consider that are your greatest accomplishment in the industry to be? Well, it's <laughs> successful banking. That's, uh, that's funny because uh, <laughs> I consider a success once the uh, loan is paid in full and, and everything's good. But uh, textbook answer would be adding value and relationship lending. And I, I hope I do that. Um, but at the end of the day, it's all about just helping in general. So, um, mm -hmm all those small loans I make, all the large loans, you add them up. And I think that's that's the definition of being a successful banker is, is just helping people in general. Um, yep. And as far as, um, you know, being in a small town, I, I live there, I work there, everyone knows who I am. Uh, it really, I, you can almost see the payoff of, of the work you do and in in your community involvement. So. I think uh, just just being part of the bank and, and being what the bank stands for and helping the community is is a success in and out of itself. No, that's very true. And really, that is the epitome of community banks across our, our great state. You're right that it is a really rewarding career that you're in and you're able to see the fruit of, of all your hard work and really help people realize their dreams. So it's great to hear. And, and I know you're going to have many, many more years of success uh, in that regard. Um, as you look at yourself so far, you know, who have your role models really been, who have been really inspiring you, uh, whether it's inside the banking industry or outside of the industry? Sure, as I, I've kind of come up from nothing, um, so to speak, not knowing much about banking, but yet having a, a banking background. My, my father was in banking, so I always had that experience of what banking was in general. But not sure. until I actually started working at a bank is, is what I, like, what, what do you do? What? And so going to schools, uh, WBA offered a number of schools that were helpful in my career advancement. And just the, the workers that I, I worked with were able to help out and mentor me along the way. Um, but in this day and age, you have a platform across the, the internet. They have access to any, any mentor you'd want to learn from and, and there's a couple bankers I know there's a bank president in Oklahoma and a bank bank president in Minnesota uh, Alicia Webb and Jill Castilla those two bank presidents are really doing outstanding things at the helm of their banks and uh, I, I just follow them and see what they're up to so that's pretty neat um, and I, I read uh, leadership manuals uh, there's um, Greenleaf does a lot of servant leadership studies, and uh, let's see who's the other one I read a lot of. Um, Simon Sinek. Oh, he, sure. Mm -hmm. He does. Uh, I enjoy reading his work too. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's there's a lot of people out there you can learn from. Not you don't have to stay in one area. So that's really neat uh, in this day and age. Well, that's very true, and and honestly, a great point about how digital we've all become anyway in the last year because of the pandemic you really can find role models all over the country and I don't know Alicia very well but I do know Jill and she is a great role model and certainly someone who's always willing to help others as well and you can learn a lot just frankly from following her on social media too right. so yeah. uh, and interesting that you mentioned Jill she's also a military veteran which you are as well so tell me a little bit about your transition from the military into banking and the skill sets that you really believe veterans have that translate really well to a career in banking? Oh, sure, sure. Well, in the military, you have this camaraderie that you're all together as a unit. You live together, you sleep together, you eat together. And and in the, any, not just in banking, but when you leave the military, you lose that, that piece, that element of, of your bond. And so I, perhaps that's what I miss most with the transition. But on the, on the plus side, you have, you have your family life that's consistent and stable, and you can offer that in exchange for that 
that commodity that you don't have necessarily in corporate America. Um, but as far as skills goes, you can uh, you can leverage a lot of what the military teaches you and what what you take out from the military. Uh, we're adaptable, we're dependable, we're accountable, we're responsible, uh, we're trainable, we're patriotic. We can learn things on the go, and and at, to me that just seems like all things that an employer would want to hire for, and not necessarily these the schools that you've attended, but your your trainability and your work ethic, and that's something that in general military can offer to to the corporate America as they transition out of. Um, yep. Certainly very hardworking too. I mean, like you mentioned, even if a veteran doesn't have a particular subject matter skill set, um, you know, really focused and hardworking and, and as you mentioned, just really dependable, uh, all are great qualities and you can always learn the skill went through training and, and the like. Sure. And, and I'm just thinking what in the realm of banking you have, you have the lending, you have, which is sales, people, people, people skills. You have the, the computer skills, IT and military is on the cutting edge of computers and IT. So that, that can be really relatable. And Great you point. have, you have um, all the numbers behind, I mean, that, that in the finance and the, the credit analysts that can easily, there's departments in the military that can relate to that. So depending on what part in the military you are, you can plug yourself in and find yourself suitable in the banking realm very easily, I would think. Yeah, yeah, no, those are all great points as well. And thank you also very much for your service. I do really appreciate it having come from a military family myself. Uh, I, I certainly have a lot of respect for people who uh, in today's world voluntarily sign up and, and are willing to frankly give their lives for this country. So I appreciate what you did as well, but we're so Certainly happy to have you over in the private sector side of life and in banking in particular. And I know you're doing great things for Partners Bank up in the Stratford area and all of the markets you serve. And I wish you continued success in that regard. And again, thank you so much for your time today, Adam. I think your insight is really great uh, for people to hear and, and hopefully we can keep encouraging more veterans to come into the banking sector as well. Sure, and, and in parting then I would just add that, you know, in, in the past, we were helping people in another country being liberated from, from bullies, in theory. And now we're still helping people, just helping people in our own country with their finances. So you're, we're always helping people. And, and that's very noble in, in and of itself. It, very true. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. Banking is also a very noble career, too. So. Well, again, thank you, Adam, so much for your time, and I appreciate your voice here today and, and uh, happy and look forward to working with you well into the future. Thank you, Rose. Have a good day. You too.